Hello, and welcome to Wiremock Cloud Academy. Today, we'll be learning how to use Wiremock Cloud scenario capability. Some testing activities require that different responses be served for a sequence of identical requests. In today's example, we'll see how to mock a payment as it progresses through multiple states. Let's first start by creating a stub. And we'll call this one get charge state processing. We're going to do a get request and we'll go for charges slash one, two, three, four, five as our matching URL. And we're going to click on scenarios here and we're going to create a new scenario name and we'll call this scenario name payment. And we'll click the add payment scenario name here. And we'll see that it's defaulted to a required scenario state of started, which is the default state for any scenario. We'll go ahead and add our header for application JSON, change our body top type to JSON, and paste in our body. And we'll click Save. We'll then clone this, and we'll do a get charge state, and this time, we'll change this one to the approved state. So we'll give it the name approved. Notice that we'll keep the same method and the same target URL. But in this case, we're gonna choose our scenario name of payment. And now we're gonna say that it needs to be in a state of approved. And then we'll come down and we'll edit our body and we'll put our approved body in. In this example, we'll use dynamic response templating so that we can calculate a date. We'll add one more stub here, and this time we're going to do a post. And this post will act as the trigger to change the state. And this endpoint will have charges one, two, three, four, five slash success. We'll make use of the scenario again by choosing our payment scenario name. The required scenario state will be started. And then we're going to give it a new uh, state called the approved state. We'll change our status to a 201 to reflect a successful post. And we'll do an empty JSON body. Okay, at this point we can test it. So let's click on our processing and we'll go over to our test requester and we'll send the request. Notice that our status is processing. And if I send this again, it's still processing. If we then go over to our post and send a post to our charges one, two, three, four, five slash success, we get our empty response body. Now let's try our get charge status again. Get charges one, two, three, four, five, and we hit send. And this time we can see our status is a success. And each time I send this, it's still a success, but we see our dynamic response templating working on the succeeded date. If I want to reset my scenario back to the starting state, I simply come up and hit reset scenarios. And now, when I send my get again to charges one, two, three, four, five, we'll see that we are back at the status of processing response. As you've just seen, Wiremock Cloud scenario capability allows you an additional matching dimension in your mock APIs to help replicate state. Try it for yourself with a free forever account at wiremock.io.